everybody so today I have got my monthly glossy box video for you and this one is very exciting so every month when the box arrives I look at it and I formulate in a quick opinion a sort of first thoughts on what is in the box when I open it and then I head on over to Facebook and I have a look and see what everybody else is thinking um, and this month it was not good so I did leave um, a little bit of a glowing review on the page because I do think this is an amazing box and um, we will get into why in a second and I think the value is great too so if you follow the Glossy Box UK page you will see most likely I actually post on that page every month when I get my box and I always get lovely comments from Glossy Box. They actually follow me here on YouTube. I don't know if they watch my videos, but if they do, hello Glossy Box and you did an amazing job this month. And I know that that might not be a popular opinion, but I love skincare, love skincare. I recently got into the Vichy brand when I got the Mother's Day Glossy Box and there was a cream in there and oh my goodness, I've been using it every single day and the effects on my skin Oh, I just love it. So I was glad to see Vichy in this box and I really think the Glossy Box could have really, they could have maybe included a brand that maybe a lot of people would have been excited to see, um, which is Bioderma, which I'm sure is French, but if any of these brands aren't French, I totally apologize. <laughs> I'm sure some of them are. Glossy Box could have easily gone down a very easy route of putting L'Occitane in this box or L'Occitane, depending on how you say it and who you are, um, but they could have because L'Occitane is very popular and it is also very available really here in the UK um, and I love L'Occitane. I've used L'Occitane for years upon years. My mum used it. So they could have done that and that would have been very easy for them. Like I said, Bioderma would have been quite nice to see in here because it's still not readily available. Though you can get it on various websites and I do have some Bioderma, which I haven't tried yet. Um, but I did get like a little mini bottle just to try when I was ordering some other skincare. Um, and La Roche-Posay, obviously. I'm sure that's French. Is that French? I hope so. <laughs> but they could have put, maybe put some La Roche-Posay in there. Maybe just a little sort of, of the water, the thermal water, which is really nice for this warm weather. Though I have my softbox on today because it's so grey outside, it's unbelievable. I don't think the weather knows what it wants to do. But anyway, <laughs> totally gone off point. They, like I said, they could have easily gone for things that are actually available on the high street here or available online. But I feel like instead of doing that, I feel like effort has gone into this box to go out there and get brands that we might not necessarily have come across. And one of them is Noxy Doxy, which I've heard a lot about on YouTube and on blogs about how great Noxy Doxy is. And I've really wanted to try it for a while, um, but it's not easy to come by in the UK. And to be honest, it is pricey. So when things are pricey, and this is where Glossy Box comes in, I find, you kind of think, oh, I, I don't really want to spend £35 on a cream and not know whether that's going to work or not. Because it's not like the US where when they open something they don't like it, in most cases, a lot of their stores will actually take it back. In the UK, you open it, that's it, it's yours. Don't like it, it's tough. Yes, so you're a little bit caught. So you don't want to spend £35 on something and really not know whether it's any good. I watch lots of reviews on YouTube for things that I'm interested in buying, but still at the end of the day with skincare, skincare I find is just such a delicate thing because everybody's skin is different. I know there's dry, there's oily, there's combination. Um, I'm combination, but even within those groups, there are also differences. Like I have combination skin, but I also have acne prone skin and cystic acne. So some people may have the same combination skin as me and they may have spots, but it may not be cystic. And I also have rosacea. So that with our skin, there are so many different little things going on that make us very unique. So anyway, I know I'm waffling at you and you really want to see what's in the box. So I'm going to crack on and show you. I get two boxes. So um, I've explained this many times, but my hubby buys me one as a monthly treat because he's just lovely like that. And I purchased myself one. And I've actually been with Glossy Box since the beginning. I actually signed up for the first box, but I missed out on the first box because they'd actually sold out of that one, which was disappointing because I would love to say I'd been with them since the very first, but I have been with them since the second box, which was amazing. So if anybody wants to see a video on what I've repurchased from Glossy Boxes, then I can certainly do that video because there are a lot of things actually that I've got in Glossy Boxes that I've actually gone on to purchase that I wouldn't have if I hadn't been able to try them first. Because I think that's what's great about this box, being able to try those maybe slightly more higher end brands that you might want to invest in, but you're a bit nervous of. Anyway, like I said, 
I am waffling. But we're going to crack on to the box. So the box itself, it came in either a blue outer box or a red one, I believe. Now, mine both came in blue boxes. And the artist um, who did the art on the actual box is Jamie Lee Rieder. Say bonjour to the creative brains behind the Viva La France glossy box. And you get this lovely card. Uh, so I've got two of these, obviously. I'm going to take one of these to work and put it on my wall because I think it's super pretty. And yeah, it's got a little bit on the back there. Now, the box itself. This has got to be the best box they've ever done. It is so beautiful and so much detail. So on the front you have a lot of French landmarks. Obviously you'd have the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower being like the main most recognisable ones. I'm going to come in close there for you so you can see how detailed this is. And then you've got your little girl character or your lady character who's just gorgeous. She's a little bit graphic. She's got quite a contoured face and she's got a red dress and a white and blue bow but it's like the colours of France so I really quite like her. And you still have your glossy box in the middle but it kind of looks like it's almost like a big sort of street sign in the middle. So that's what it looks like and it's just gorgeous and inside is white with the blue glossy box insignia and then you have the lady again on the inside and I just love the balls on her shoes. <laughs> So that's what the actual lid looks like. And then inside you got red paper and white worms. And I don't think, no, there's no detail in the bottom of the box. But around the box itself, it does have um, Jamie's signature on it here, on the side. And the artwork just goes all the way around the box. This literally is just a stunning box all the way around. And then if I just pop the lid on for a second, even the bottom of this box is decorated because on the bottom, there she is, blowing a big kiss. <laughs> Isn't she so pretty? I almost want to go and steal Tony's box because I want to kind of display it this side, but I want to display it this side as well. Oh, it's so pretty. Like I said, best box ever. So like I said, two different boxes. Now, there's only one thing that I got differently and I'm perfectly fine with that because I've already tried a couple of these products and I really, really like them. First use, bearing in mind that it is first use only. Let's crack on. I'll, what I'll do is, what I normally do is we'd show the things that I have in both boxes and then I'll show you the things that are different from each box. So I, I only got one item different in each box and all the other items were the same, which was fine because I'm really excited about the other items. But the, even the items that were different, they are the same brand. Now I'm really excited about that because like I said, Vichy, which is the little spoiler there, that is the brand that I've got into recently and those are the items that are actually in this box. So that is exciting to me because now I get to try two other different things from Vichy. You do get your little box again, Viva la France, it says. Salut Glossies, welcome to our collector's edition July Glossy Box, guest edited by moi and inspired by all things French. While my French friends and I always take care to appear effortlessly stylish, we certainly don't have a laissez-faire attitude when it comes to our skincare. This box is a tour de force of our favourite French finds that contain ingredients that really work. After all, a healthy looking complexion, we call it Le Fair Bon Mine, is the best foundation. Go forth and be chic, Mademoiselle Glossy. And it's got the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower on the bottom of there. And then this is your little menu. I like the size of this card actually. They've done smaller, they've done bigger, but I think that this is quite a nice size because it's really readable. You get five items and one of them is what the items actually came in. I'll show you that first, but it's like like one of the most exciting items in the box for me. I opened it and I was like, oh, it was so present, just presented so beautifully. This whole thing is just presented so well. But I opened the box and all of your products were in this little bag. Now it's funny because I've just been watching this morning, this morning, <laughs> yesterday morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> So it's really strange, but I'd been watching this morning, yesterday morning, and um, they were shown like a bag that you take on the plane and you're supposed to just put your items in there that you're taking, like your toiletries that are liquid. And you can only take what will fit in that bag. And it was actually the size. So when I pulled it out, I was like, that looks like the same size as the one that was on this morning. And when I read it, it actually does say that um, 
you know that's what you can use this for and what's great about it is it's not plastic it's like it's a really nice silicone feeling material it's really nice and thick and I like that because I think that would be better than just plain plastic and it zips so that's cool and I think it says glossy box yes it does it just says glossy box here on the tag even if you couldn't use it on a plane who cares because it's so pretty but it's got the woman on she's going <laughs> that's not attractive Lisa so <laughs> there you go that's what she looks like and it says je t'aime and then it's got the glossy box thing down here. And I actually feel that they've put a, like a really good value on this this week, this week, this month. <laughs> I can't talk today. They valued this at £3.99. And I feel like if I saw this in a shop for £3.99, I would pick it up and buy it. So I do think that this is relatively priced and appropriately priced. Because sometimes when they do glossy box items in the box, they overprice them and you're like, uh, no, I would not pay that in a shop. That is way overpriced. But I do think this is accurately priced and I just think it's gorgeous I did have two of these because I have two boxes but as soon as Tony saw this she was like oh I want it can I have it <laughs> and off it disappeared into Tony's room with the other box so sometimes it's quite handy to get two boxes because you know um because actually it's funny you know how we got the double-ended one that was for spots and it's got like the day on one end and the night on the other she's totally used one up loves the stuff and then she's actually took mine so <laughs> You know, what can you do, teenage daughters? Anyway, let's get onto the box. Very exciting. So what's at the top of the menu is this Noxy Doxy. Now, is this, yes, this is the one I've used because I wanted to show you, okay? Now, I loved it. I'm not picking on it, but it's a strange color. Can you see it around the edge here? It's like pus colored. I'm really sorry if that offends anybody. But you know when you like squeeze a spot and it's all yellow and, and I know this is really gross and it's an overshare but that's what colour this is and it's very runny so please if you've got this and you haven't tried it please just be very very gentle about how hard you squeeze this because I squeezed it and luckily it was enough to do my face and that was good that was all good I hadn't squeezed it too hard but if you squeezed this really hard you'd be in trouble you could do your face you know, your mum and dad's faces and the neighbour's face with it because it's just a little of this goes such a long way. Now, I put this on today after I put on, I did my toner, did my um, La Roche-Posay Effaclar, which is not a moisturiser. It's like it is to reduce marks and acne, scarring and things like that. And it's a treatment, not anything else. So I did put this on after that before I went on to moisturise. So Noxy Doxy Enhancen Serum Base. Serum is the powerhouse of any skincare regime. From Bordeaux born brand Noxy Doxy, this has a CRC6 moisturising complex which hydrates the skin surface as well as the deeper layers. While a cocktail of antioxidants and anti-inflammatories protect the skin. It says layer under moisturiser. Now this one here says full size is £33.46. Now it only has a little full size sort of symbol next to one item because nothing else in here is full size however I went on to Amazon um, I actually just went on um, Google and put Noxy Doxy um, serum enhancing serum base UK and it came up with some options of where you could purchase it and on Amazon you can get a full size 30 mil for £38.89 so with that in mind they're not far off they've said on here £33.46 for a full size it's only five mils short of a full size guys so it's like you know that's really good and the full that makes this worth £32.40 so people might be going oh my goodness oh uh, uh, but it's £32.40 in this little tube it is and I put it on and it just felt so nice and it gave my skin such a lovely glow and then I feel like my makeup went on really nice on top I know I put moisturizer on and then primer water but still I just thought it was quite nice so and it's got a really nice smell it's a little bit sweet and it's not too strong so yes I absolutely love this and I'm super thrilled with that one and then the next item on there is called lollipops So this is the Lip Balm Delicious. Um, a wonderful French find. This rich and creamy balm immediately soothes and softens with antioxidants and vitamin E, as well as protecting the lips from UV damage. Perfect for the summer. And um, full size is £4.15 and this is a full size. Okay, so this is actually 10 mils, which is a good size. And it's actually made in Paris <laughs> on the Champs-Élysées. 
Well, that's where the offices are based for this product. And the packaging's really, really cute. And it actually smells so nice. It's got like sort of a candy, candy floss sort of smell to it. It's got no colour to it. So I actually applied this today before I did any kind of makeup. So when I did my serum and my moisturiser and everything, I actually put this on. It goes on and it looks a little bit glossy, but then it kind of dries down and your lips just kind of look sort of semi-matte and like a satin. And your lips, I don't know, it's like almost like it sort of smooths out all the lines in your lips. It was just really, really nice. I like the smell, I love the texture and the feel of it. It kind of had a slightly silicone feel to it, but it dried very quickly on the lips and just left them, like I said, satin, and they didn't feel like they had anything on them. But they did feel very moisturised and maybe a little sort of plumped, but I think that's because they felt hydrated. So I thought that this was a really nice little product. I'm glad I've got two of these because I really did like that on first use. Then the next item on the list is this um, from Tioxane and it's Tioxane Cosmeceuticals and it's the Perfect Skin Refiner. You get 15 mils of this and it comes in one of these sort of pump action sort of tubes which is really great. Um, it says with hyaluronic acid to plump and hydrate skin, 10% glycolic acid to help resurface the skin and calming ingredients to reduce irritation. Start by using it every other night. You'll feel a mild tingling at first. And as with all potent treatments, a high SPF is a must during the day. Um, a full size of this is actually £70. Though um, I'm when I did my little sort of Google search, I found it on Amazon and you could get 50 mils for £45. So when I did the maths and sort of figured this one out, this one here would be worth £13.50, which is really good. Um, and like I said, this is kind of like a treatment. So I'm excited to try that. I think I'd put that on at night time. But um, yeah, so I will give it a go because I think it sounds interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about the tingling. You know, sometimes you put things in your skin and you're like, oh, what's what? I know, what's it doing? It's taking my skin off. So that'll be interesting to try anyway. And I've never heard of the brand, so I'm excited about that one. Um, and then we're on to the Vichy, which, like I said, two different things in two different boxes. So in one box, I got this cream. Now it came in this box. So this is what the box looks like. I feel like when the Vichy do these little samples, you just get so much. It comes this lovely little glass jar which is just gorgeous and I definitely will be recycling. 15 mils. I think 15 mils is really good. And this is what it looks like. Just a white cream. I love the smell of this. Oh, it's got such a nice smell. Now I've used this today. Um, basically I have time cream that I'm obsessed with but I'm down to about the last eight. And I know that sounds a lot but they're just little pots and I absolutely love it. But I'm trying to kind of branch out and use other skincare because I'm going to run out. And time cream is very expensive. So, like I said, I tried the Vichy, but I actually used the one that I got in my box, which I think is the Idelia. And I got that in my Mother's Day glossy box and I've been using that every night and I just love it. My skin feels amazing with that stuff. And I kind of wanted something to put on as a day cream. So I'm very excited about this. And if you work out the value of this one, actually on Boots, I don't know if it's on offer, but I went on Boots and I found this. And on Boots, Boots site, it was 50 mils for £17. And I thought that seemed quite good because I found a 50 mil of the one that I'm using currently on the night time, and that one is £29.95 on Feel Unique. So I was like, wow. I mean, £30, I'd pay £30 for it because, like I said, a little goes a long way, and I've been using that little tub for ages, and I'm still, I'm not even halfway down through it. So I definitely think that sometimes you get what you pay for. Uh, yes, cheap moisturisers are great, but I just don't, in experience of using them, I just find the more higher end ones definitely have a better result on my skin. And I find that value wise, you're looking at more or less the same because I find that you have to use less of a high end moisturiser. Um, but yeah, so this one anyway, <laughs> this sample would be worth £5.10, which is quite good. Right, so the last thing that I got, and you get two of these, which was quite nice of them because they could have just put one in. But I find that it's quite good that they put two. And this one's Vichy as well. And this one was my other box. So this one is the Vichy Lift Active Advanced Filler. Comes in a box like this. As you can hear, it's in there. Got two of the little boxes. And this is the what the tube looks like. So it's two times five mil. So five mil. Now I've used this today. Um, this one says this nourishing formula from iconic French brand Vichy is a favourite of mine. It contains a high dose of retinol, a wonder ingredient that perfects your complexion while banishing signs of age. So I think Glossy Box are trying to say I'm old. 
excuse me classy box <laughs> but I, I'm not <laughs> but you know I do want to look after around the eye area so I've used this today I really liked it actually and I felt that I use the magic blur normally to do that um, and it's good even just the massaging of the area with the cream is really good to encourage sort of I want to say movement on your skin but that's not exactly what it is that's not the technical term but just to encourage sort of life in the area so to kind of keep movement massage in the area and sort of stimulating stimulating the skin and that area and like all the little cells around your eye and i put this on and i really really liked it so yeah i'm pretty happy with it and it's just a white cream so i'm i'm happy with that and i found this on a website I didn't write down which one it was so I'm really sorry about that I think actually I think it was boots again now this one is 31 pounds for 30 mils so that the samples together work out as 10 pounds 30 for both of them so you know those little two little boxes are 10 pound on their own not to be sniffed at I tell you it's a great way to try things like that because you know I would not go out and pay 31 pounds or something not known if it was going to work and one of those would have been nice because a tiny little amount goes such a long way with this as well I literally put the tiniest little dot and it did all around my eye area it was fantastic um so they could have just given you one but I think it was really generous of glossy box to give two and give you 10 mils of that um because this will last ages anyway so box one that had the little box in that value was £59.14 for that box and that's not including the box itself and I think the box itself I'd pay in a shop a couple of pounds to buy that box because it's so pretty and I'd want to put it on my shelf so £59.14 for that box and then the second box which had the two little fillers in this one is a value of £64.34 so £59 and £64 so um, £10 for that so I paid £20 for those boxes or we paid £20 because I didn't buy them both and the value is £123.48 okay so skincare is not for everybody and this is where the value of a box comes in and the relativity of value if you get a box full of things that you will never use even if those things are worth quite a bit that box will mean nothing to you and be worth nothing to you now to me the reason I love glossy box so much is I love getting the skincare and I don't mind the hair stuff like the oils and stuff there's other stuff for hair that I don't like I mean my hair is like past my waist it's really thick and curly and they give you a tiny little sample and it's like okay so I'll just do the itty bitty ends of my hair with that then or maybe I'll do my fringe with that because you know some of us do you know we have a lot of hair so those kind of things are not great dry shampoos things like that they're great because you know they're always big enough to get a good use out of I don't care this is going to be controversial I don't care really about receiving makeup in these boxes I like trying primers I love mascaras but I'm quite fussy with eyeshadows and eyeliners and lipsticks so I just like I don't care <laughs> about makeup I just really love skincare you know so skincare for your face for your feet sun protection I've still got the La Roche-Posay little sun protection that they sent in a previous box and I use that it's over there actually I can see it <laughs> so I actually use that and I put on some protection and I'm you know I'm still using it and I just found they, they've done toners and cleansers and loads of serums I've got so many little serums that are just amazing that I've tried from these boxes and I just I've got drawers full of skincare and I haven't had to buy skincare for such a long time except if I've really fallen in love with something and then I've bought it so I can use it all the time but I just that's what I like so for me these kinds of boxes when you do get good skincare I like them and I'm not complaining I'm not a huge fan of all the nail polish I don't mind nail treatments top coats you know base coats and things like that but I really 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 love this box I cannot express this box I've had a couple of sort of mm, boxes with kind of thought well that kind of rescues it that's okay because that's how I always see it if there's something in there that I can use then I'm happy <laughs> and I'll pass things on to family members and relatives and friends if I don't want to use them um, but that rarely happens we generally just you know everybody in this house tends to use stuff from glossy boxes and 
I love it. I love this box. I love every single last thing about this box. And yes, there is only one full size item. And yes, it is quite small. And it's actually though, this full size item is smaller than this item. And that's not full size, but it's five mil short of full size. So you might as well just call it full size and be done with it. I'm really, really pleased. <laughs> And I think that you'll see a lot of videos on um, about this Scotty Box where people aren't so pleased because they're not so into skincare. But for me, I'm happy with what I got. And like I said, I could waffle on forever about this topic. And you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, please shut up. But there you go. I'm really quite enthusiastic about this box because I think it is a very, very good box. And I've, like I said, I've used both Vichy products this morning. I've used the Noxy Doxy and I've used the Lollipop this morning. So the only thing I haven't used is the Tioxin, which is more of a treatment. So I'll be putting that on tonight and giving that a go. But yeah, and oh. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but it's just so pretty. I'm thrilled. So that's it i'm gonna go this video is way too long i hope you've enjoyed this video guys let me know if you've got anything different in your box because i'm always excited to hear about things like that and let me know what you think um like i said not skincare is not everybody's thing so you know i do expect and i understand why some people would not enjoy this box but for me glossy box for me is about trying these brands that i can't come across normally which is why i get a bit upset when they kind of put rimmel and maybelline and i'm like i can go to superdrug and buy that please don't put that in my box and that's why I really hated the super drug box because I'm like yuck <laughs> these things these things excite me because these things are things that I just I can see myself going on and purchasing if I really like them and yeah anyway I'm gonna go so I'm gonna love and leave you and see you all soon hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you're doing and I'm gonna catch you in my next video bye guys <laughs>